Hello everybody and welcome to Motor Gear X. Jeff here. Uh, I haven't been uh, putting as many videos out as I did before because uh, I've got a lot of other things going on. Uh, right, so I'll jump straight into it and let you know what's going on in the camper build. Uh, first kick off is the side loading door. I've got a friend who's in the windscreen business. Rather than get another door with a glass in and then tint it or whatever, uh, my mates decided you can cut it out and put a glass in there. So that's that solid. Um, it's going, to cost, it's going to cost me a fraction of the price of a wooden door and I haven't got the whole evil I've changed the door so I've got the original door and I'm going to get a glass put in bingo other thing I've worked out the floor pan the floor plan is at the back here that side that side where a normal bed would go I'm having two seats like you're doing like a caravan with the cushions on the top uh, I'm going to Maximise the space, having two seats there, when I want a bed, put the board, board across, put the cushions on, I've got a bed, bingo, two things in one space, brilliant, one thing I don't like is to see a bed up all the time at the back of a camper, I, I don't like that, so other thing is, at the back of here, I'm putting, I'm putting two little windows, ones you can, the, the, the tinted ones you can slide, so you've got a bit of a little bit of light coming through, a little bit of fresh air coming through at the back end of the uh, the van. Uh, the seats would be great if I, unless I put them in, so it gives me the option of reverse up to a beach, open the back doors, sit there, have a cup of tea, read a magazine, wherever I've got that that is extra. Other thing is, where the side loading doors here, up to the seats. That's because this is going to be the kitchen area, the cupboards. You're going to have a sink and a stove, uh, your grey water, your old dirty one. Maybe it might even be like a little microwave in there. That's for the future if I can get it in. On this side, from the seat, up to about up to about three foot before you get the driver's seat, that's going to be the uh, bathroom. It's like a wet room like you get in all caravans and motor rooms. It's going to have the toilet, the sink and the shower. Lift the sink up, have a shower. The toilet, you're going to be able to take the cassette out and come obviously come through this. I'm not going to go through the wall, I'm not going to cut a big hole in the wall and pull it out that way. I'll take it out this way, which is keeps it keeps it simple. Uh, from there up to the driver's seat, there's going to be a like a three foot gap, so I'm going to fit another seat in there, a lovely comfortable seat. And the reason for that is it means that I can, if I want a cup of tea or something to eat, I've got two spaces to do it in. I can either do it there and um, Put a table, like put like a bracket in the floor, so you can click a table pole into it and put the table on top. Then ones you see on all the campers. Or I'll do the same down there with the two seats. I'll put them in the floor, put the table on, so I can have a meal there or a meal here. Gives me the option. Keep the options open, as I say. So I like that idea. So I fancy doing that. So I'm going to do that. The uh, next thing is is the insulator. Um, I've got a guy who's going to bring me a load of insulator in, uh, like, I think it's like lamb's wool or something like that. I'm going to put it in and start lagging the insides and then I like, obviously vapour seal it, uh, the whole van. But I'm going to do that when the weather breaks because it's freezing cold at the moment. It's the 20th of December I think it is today and it's freezing outside and it's damp. So there's no point in doing it yet. I'm going to wait until, it, wait until the weather gets a little bit fine. Like I say, this is just a brief, quick recap of what I'm doing. The outsides, I've got a guy, a friend, uh, who's a painter, I'm going to prep the van, I'm going to rub it down, uh, I'm going to fill in all the bits and pieces on my RV, what I need doing on the outside, get it all rubbed down, prepped, so all I've got to do is take it down to his garage, his spray shop, all he's got to do is mask it off and take the bits off he needs to take off, paint it with two pack or whatever, water based paint or whatever, uh, and keep it the original colour, that's like I said next year, that's about March, April time, because yeah, that's the last thing that's going to need to be done is painting. And then what I'm going to do, once the paint is nice and dry, I'm going to order some decals and put some nice vinyl stripe and decals on the side of it, so it breaks the white colour up, sort of thing. Um, and that's briefly about it. Oh, also, on the walls, I'm going to, I've decided I'm going to tunnel and groove it with that very, very light uh, wood like a pine all the ceiling all the walls 
and everywhere you look basically where there's metal I'm gonna lag it and I'm gonna seal it and I'm gonna tunnel and groove it as they say uh, so it looks nice you've probably seen them in other videos or on campers and stuff and what have you when they've been doing the campers up I think it looks nice I love wood I love the colour of wood and I love the colour of that uh, and that's how it's going to keep it, keep it nice and bright and fresh and clean flooring I'm going to keep uh, to laminated flooring not maybe, maybe it's not the same colour as the pine maybe it's maybe slightly darker and with like a little rug on it sort of thing so like I say once I get all that done I'll show you that but that's going to all happen like next year sort of thing I'm still got a few little bits and pieces I need to do in here um, and I've still got the bump stop to put on the outside which I took off and rust proof behind it but like I said this is just a brief uh, quick video just to let you know what I'm up to and um, the project on the uh, the bandit um, stunt bike has slowed down dramatically because the way I've got it it's absolutely freezing cold and there's no heating in there um, and I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a cold ass now I, I feel the cold even worse now uh, so what I've decided to do is knock that on the head for the time being until the weather starts breaking and whatever. Um, I have got a heater, uh, like a little complex heater, but it, it makes no difference whatsoever. So uh, I'm concentrating on the camper for the time being, because uh, it's like I say, it's inside, and I'm in close proximity of the, the van, close the doors, keep the engine running, keep the heating, and when I go, I want to open the back doors there now, because I've had the engine running for quite a long time with the heater gone. Um, I've opened the back door so you can let a bit of light in so you can see what I'm up to because I keep the doors closed, it's pitch, it's pitch black and you won't, be able to, you won't be able to see anything so that is my idea for the future the cab area, the floor I'm going to do it in that, um, that grey that grey carpet which you see in motorhomes and my just to tidy up and, and separate it from the living area of the uh, the, the van, the, the camper so like I say, once I get everything sorted and get everything stuck down and back, well, obviously better than what it is now, I'll, I'll video it. Also, one last thing, um, heating, uh, Chinese diesel heater. Uh, I've been looking on YouTube, uh, YouTube is uh, saying what people are doing is they're putting the 5 kilowatt heater in. Then, a few weeks later, or maybe a month later, they're taking the five kilowatt heater out and put a two kilowatt heater in or two a three kilowatt heater because they can't they can't abide by the five kilowatt heater because when you've got it on low it's like a it's like an absolute sauna inside the van they can't because a lot of people like to keep the heater running all night at a certain temperature and they can't with this because it doesn't have that low temperature so they're boiling they have to roast inside the van so they're taking them out and putting smaller ones in two kilowatt or three kilowatts so i decided to get a three kilowatt or three two kilowatt and I've been speaking to a guy who fits them um, from my local town where I work, Hartlepool. And he's turned on and says, Jeff, put put the heater on the underneath of the van. Everything on the outside. Don't have it inside the van. Rig it into your, your fuel tank rather than have it on that tank what comes with the thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pipe it in my main tank and I'm going to have it outside on a bracket. So the only thing that's going to come through the floor is the heater duct. That is it. That's the way I like it because the noise will stay outside. If there's any problems, it'll stay outside. It won't be inside the van. Last thing I need is some sort of diesel leak or whatever like that, which I've seen on videos on YouTube. Um, people having diesel leaks, and I don't want that because it'll stink the eye of the van out to high heaven. So I'm going to stick it outside, pipe it into the um, return valve, uh, return pipe on the tank, which I've been told to do. Uh, once I've done it and I get it all up and running, I will show you. It's going to be that the, the air vent is going to come up under one of the seats. And then out of one of the seats, going to go. One's going to go that way, and one's going to go this way toward the front of the, the cab. Uh, one I do, I'll let you have a, see, see, let you see it running, and then we'll go from there. But like I say, it's going outside. It's going to stay outside. Uh, I don't want in my Vita I've just sold that heater, uh, that heating system was outside. It was nothing was inside. It was the only thing that was inside was the, the vent. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm ha more happy doing it that way. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, so that's it. I think I've wrapped everything up at the, at the time. Um, like you say, I'm going to start lagging shortly, uh, cleaning the inside and whatever, and get everything ready. So uh, this is Jeff uh, out for the time being.